Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving epic blogger, Tom Choo Choo. So I saw this keto recipe from Serious Keto, and Steve has made this wonderful keto corn dog recipe. So I thought I might just give a try and see how that goes. This is my first time making it, so I just saw the recipe and I have not done anything of it. Steve made this corn dog recipe with a corn dog maker. Since I don't have that, I'm just going to use my air fryer. So maybe it's going to be a flop. We don't know. But with that said, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my update. My channel is all about keto and everything mukbang. So let's get to it. Choo choo! So Steve, I'm going to link that video up there so you can check it out. After this video, he made his own keto corn dog recipe. Here's all the ingredients that's inside of his recipe. What we have here, I don't remember everything, but I'm going to link in the description and using my phone to tell you. We have four tablespoons of keto flour. It's the brand that he used. Half cup shredded mozzarella cheese. Two teaspoon coconut flour. I have two teaspoon of coconut flour. Half teaspoon of baking powder. How are you going to put all this together? You use this thing. A food processor. I mean, that's what he used. So I thought, hey, might as well just use the same thing. And you're just going to put all the dry ingredients in there to just grind it into crumbs. I don't know. I think that's what it says. I'll have to check later, but just put it in first. Let's do this. Oh, this is my second time of using my food processor. So let's hope everything is going to go smoothly. So I am putting the, the keto flowers in there. Uh, dry mozzarella cheese, coconut flour, and baking powder. Done. Okay, so I'm just going to grind everything up. That's fast. I think that's all I need, right? Okay, so the next thing we're going to put is two eggs and also 40 drops of cornbread flavor syrup. I don't have cornbread flavor syrup. And also half teaspoon of sugar-free honey. I don't have that either. Uh, so I don't have the sugar-free honey, but so I thought might as well just use the maple syrup instead. If it doesn't have the cornbread flavor, whatever. Let's try this. Thought it's much easier to actually put it down here because my arm's getting sore. I'm going to put two eggs in there. That's one. And that's two. And now we're putting the maple syrup. Where's my spoon? Eggs called for a half teaspoon of honey. Since I don't have the cornbread syrup, I might as well just put two thirds of the syrup. I'm excited. Alrighty. I think it's called for 10 seconds, but let's see. Nice. Let's see what we have here. Check this out. Ooh. After that, we'll be using a mug and a Ziploc bag. So you're just transferring, what is this called? Batter, there we go. And we're just going to drop the batter in. Okay, now the batter is ready. So you're just going to cut a little corner here so you can make the batter. I think I cut too much. <laughs> oh well, this is my first time making this. Don't laugh. So we're going to deal with our corn dog. I cut it because I just got these sausage links uh, at Costco. And you know, uh, it came with a little bit wet. So make sure you damp it dry. I know sometimes you like your sausage wet. So I already dried this up already. So I'm just gonna put it on the side and bring my pan. I put the foil paper just because I don't like to clean 
my tray and then I put the parchment paper on top so that way I think it doesn't stick first thing you need to do I mean that's what Steve said is you just preheat your oven or preheat your dog <laughs> corn dog maker but I don't have that so we're just gonna do this instead we're just gonna put a layer on top Ooh, it's really gooey so uh oh I should go the other way it's very liquidy <laughs> this is my first time doing this so gonna lay it on top and now I'm putting another layer I wish the ingredients can be more dry than liquidy like this because I'm a little bit worried that it's not going to cover the whole corn dog. Uh oh. It might be a flop. It is what it is, people. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I did not make enough to actually make it form into whatever it's supposed to form. So I'm just going to put this in the air fryer and see what comes up. Choo choo! Okay, hear me out. It's not what you think. <laughs> okay, so um, after 15 minutes of me dealing with this crazy keto corn dog recipe, I gotta show you results of what happened. Are you ready? Ta-da! <laughs> Okay, so it didn't look like this when you saw the one was trying to make the recipe. So it didn't look like this when I was trying to put the batter on top of the sausage. Since it's mozzarella and uh, the corn syrup, so it gets very uh, liquidy. It's not really forming, so um, as soon as it's kind of cooked, I will flip them over. And then I realized I did not have enough batter for four uh, sausage, which reminds me. <laughs> Use hot dogs, not sausage, because sausage is definitely bigger. So this is what happened with my keto corn dog recipe. I mean, judging from the artistic perspective, it's very nicely shaped, even though it's not fully covered. Next time, please use a corn dog recipe with this. Don't use whatever you think you can make it work, okay? I don't even know if I want to do a taste test. <laughs> this one looks like... I don't know what this looks like. But I'm going to try this instead. Mmm. <laughs> it's not well put together. But the batter tastes really good. Next time, use the hot dog. And use your corn dog maker. Mm. But my concept was really smart. As soon as it was cooked, because the parchment paper, you can easily peel the mozzarella batter up like this. So I was able to just wrap it around like this. I think for air fryers, it's much easier to cook the top, but it's harder to cook the bottom. Once the top is already look like browning, I try to flip over and then it gets too greasy that is falling apart so that's one of the reason why you know you can still see the insides kind of falling apart it's good though i would definitely try this with a corn dog maker anyway i'm going to try to finish this <laughs> please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates and um, let me know if you want me to try another recipe this is just my first time making a keto corn dog so it's a fail but i had a wonderful experience with you guys so thank you i'll see you next time bye